Who needs more Metroidvania in their life? Well, I, I do. I'll take some more, please. Especially when it's done this well. Kunai follows the Metroidvania formula, but the beauty of the game is that you're a ninja. An electronic tablet ninja. And if I was going to pick a famous brand, then I would say, you know, like a Kindle Fire. Of course, this includes throwing stars and other ninja gear. I'm wowed by the kunai, though. It's so much fun to use them to get around. It's unique and creates exciting level design. Let's dive a little deeper. Kunai has a light story. You're the chosen one woken up by the resistance to save Earth. A grim topic not taken very seriously. I love the lighthearted way the game plays with the subject. I don't think the main character gives a damn and everyone is so cavalier about the end of the world. It makes sense from the outside the game perspective, but it's strange to see in the world of hyper real games we live in. Although you're playing as a tablet, so how serious can we really get? Anyway, if you're expecting all the typical mechanics of a Metroidvania, then you're correct. Kunai has a sprawling map with a ton of locked off areas until you find an item that magically bypasses that block. Is that bad? No, I'm not sick of Metroidvania games yet, so keep them coming. What's interesting is how much back and forth you do without a fast travel option. It's a lot of running around between new and old areas as Kunai takes full advantage of the map. The game opens new shortcuts when you return, but if you're a doofus like me, then you'll go back through the same areas, then realize it's a new area and explore it only to recognize that it's a shortcut you missed. It's my fault for not checking the map, which shows all possible routes and tracks all the places you've been. Keep in mind that even with the vast map, you don't get lost. First, there's always someone directing you where to go next, and it's a little bossy. Then, on the map, there's sometimes a question mark to show the path. Going the long way round isn't so bad, since the movement mechanics with the kunai are so much fun. You can get good at swinging, it's a skill. So good that you'll probably start swinging right by enemies if you're trying to get through the area quickly. Movement is a massive part of the game, and an even more critical role than combat. It's much more crucial to land the kunai and climb than fight. This holds true with the boss battles too. If you can jump around and dodge everything, you'll have plenty of opportunities to land an attack. Still, the combat is fun, but it's over quick. Either you know how to handle an enemy or you don't. The enemies hit pretty hard, so you can't make many mistakes during one fight. Your katana has the power to refill your health if you kill an enemy though. There's no perfect way to kill an enemy and the game gives you a lot of options. More and more weapons are added as you progress. The new weapons make quick work of the earlier enemies. I enjoyed how dynamic the combat is. The game doesn't lock you into an area and force you to fight a specific way. Kunai doesn't throw a lot at you, it's usually one enemy at a time, which is different than most games since it's an easy way to increase the difficulty. The bosses are my favorite part of the game. They force you to be quick and have a plan. Sure, it's about learning the pattern, but to execute, it's going to take skill. The kunai play a big part too, but it would be strange if they didn't. If you're lucky, that means only a couple deaths, but if you're me, it means many, many deaths. Anyway, you're able to upgrade your skills and weapons, but only if you're near a router. Of course, you need Wi-Fi to make an online purchase. The upgrades are not required to finish the game, but do make it easier. They're expensive and you're not meant to get them all, which stresses me out because I'm wired to pick up everything that drops. Even though I've been collecting a ton of coins, I've only purchased a couple of upgrades. It seems this was done on purpose to support players who die. 
You keep all your coins on death. I appreciate choosing the skills I think are valuable for my playstyle, though. Now, I suppose you could grind to get them all, but oh, that would be so tedious. They do not drop enough coins to make it worth it. Also, you should hang on to a few coins to upgrade your katana. Now, if you're hyped to get this game, and you should be, I have to tell you that at the start, I was feeling pretty good about my skills. Breezing through the jumps and combat. It's funny to look back at my notes, since they were leaning towards kunai being too easy. Uh, that was before I got to the tricky part. The notes I wrote later read, Forget what I said about this game being easy. <laughs> Against the mountain boss, I was raging and yelling, expletives, uh, but that's, that's what I do. I cared enough to keep playing, and I did finish that boss, and that was very satisfying. So don't be fooled in the beginning if you have a feeling the game is too easy. That said, Kunai doesn't waste your time. The save points are spread out, but they're in the proper places. Also, dying doesn't lose any progress. Even after death, the switches you hit and the coins you found are all yours to keep. It's very polite and I appreciate it. They'll even respawn you at the boss instead of forcing you to traverse all the way back from a save point. Before finishing this review, can we talk about two small things I absolutely love in the game? Well, yeah, I guess you don't have a choice, so I'm just gonna go. First, it's the tablet's face. Something so little adds so much character. They added a face for a bunch of actions. For example, a struggling, straining face when climbing, or the angry face for attacking, and even a red face when taking damage. It's such a small detail, but helps add a little bit of personality without saying a word. How fantastic. The second small thing I love is the hats. Hats, I exclaim? Yes, hats. You can find hats for defeating bosses or in hidden chests. What an exciting reward. The tablet looks pretty good in them too. It's fun and, and there's just a ton of them. Overall, Kunai is terrific, even if it follows the same formula as other Metroidvanias. With its own style and slick movement system, it's a joy to play. The entire robot world is where I want to live. I realize there are no humans, but maybe they could download me into a PC? It's the complete package with graphics, mechanics, and music all being top-notch. I can't believe how many amazing Metroidvanias we're getting these days. It's incredible. Thank you, thank you. Kunai was great, and they sent me a little something. It says Kunai. It's got a little latch here. Open it up. There's instructions. Not totally relevant right now. And then inside, it's a Kunai on a pillow. There's like a little soft pillow in here. And it's the kunai is attached, so it doesn't bounce around too much. But it's attached to the pillow. But this is this is incredible. It's it's a real kunai for the game. Ugh, it's so funny. I thanks. I don't know how they got this through customs, some France, but uh, it's it's amazing. So thanks for watching and subscribe. <laughs>